What's going on, clan fam? You're reading that correctly. My GM is back in NBA 2K. NBA 2K25, that is. The game just dropped today. And I'm, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe my GM is back in 2K. They listened. Now let's see how let's see how good the game is. Let's see how good the gameplay is. I'm excited. I have not been this excited for a 2K game in a long time. Probably since 2K23, to be honest with you. Um, I just I'm in shock right now, man. I I can't believe I'm reading my GM on a 2K game again. So let's. Without further ado, let's hop on into it. I haven't really seen a whole lot of like information about it. I know it's kind of a little bit of a free roam where you can walk around the building or, or whatever. So we're about to see how it goes. We're back. My GM returns with RPG-infused gameplay in the modern era. Pick a unique backstory and use a brand new perk and attribute system to complete story arcs and show everyone you're the best GM in the league. We already know I'm the best GM. We've seen it time and time again. We saw it in 2K18, 2K19, 2K20, 2K21, and the list goes on and on. Been doing this for a long time. Let's hop back into it. My GM mode for NBA 2K25. So here are the attributes for X player. So offense and defensive coaching, two stars. Could be an X scout. Kind of seems like everything is right around the same spot work smarter not harder improve the benefits of all analytics perks by 30 percent can be a savant deluxe accommodations away games are treated like home games for player performance and fatigue interesting capitalist this is probably what i'm going to go with because i like i like that money i like that money rest and relaxation replenish all chat points at the all-star break okay Closer, well-connected, opposing GMs are more likely to make favorable trades. We might have to go with that one. Or custom. Generalist snack increases the number of chat points by two. I don't know what chat points are. So we're just going to go with closer. I like that. I like GMs trusting us. We need that because I'm going to be rebuilding the Chicago Bulls and uh, I need to get rid of Zach Levine. His contract is crazy. He should have been gone years ago. So we got a couple of attributes here. I'm going to put... I'm going to put one on Charisma right there. This very slightly affects trades and contract negotiations. Unlocks numerous conversation options. I like that. And then Business improves team attendance. Unlocks a few conversation options. We're going to rock with that. So there's perks. I got one available perk. Um, free agents are more likely to sign. Let's go with that one. That's important. We got to bring some guys to Chicago. I can't keep having this BS of getting guys like Vucevic in trades and not signing any big time free agents. Yes, we're going to spend that point and we're good to go. So we're going to be the Chicago Bulls. Let's take a look at their roster. Zach Levine, Kobe White, Vucevic, Josh Giddy, Lonzo Ball. We're going to get rid of him. Io DeSumo, my boy. Legend out of the University of Illinois. 91 overall. How is that possible? How is that possible? Patrick Williams also should be gone. Um, let's take a look at the governor. Eugene Pettit. Now... We've worked for Eugene before. That is definitely not Eugene Pettit. That is just... I don't know who that guy is. Mr. Pettit is a fan first, but his business interests come in a very close second. He expects winning, but he also expects to turn a healthy profit. He's not concerned with how you do those two things as long as they are the end result. Importance of money, importance of team success, and level of involvement. All four stars. Governor Eugene Pettit. Oh, hey, thanks for popping by. No problem, Eugene. No prob. I take it you wanted to discuss some long-term stuff with the team? Haha, ha, not quite. I think you've been doing a great job and wanted to just have a bit of a personal chat. Well, that's great to hear. Thank you for the compliment. What you will want to talk about. Did I ever show you pictures of my boat? Just got her seaworthy last week and wanted to take a trip out on the ocean when we have a free weekend. Wow, that sounds great. You'll have to tell me all about it when you get back. Well, I'm hoping I won't need to. I wanted to invite you to come along. 
Eugene. I'm going to tell you right now, bro, I get motion sickness really easily. Probably not a great idea. I'll, I'll, try, to take, I'll, I'll try to take some Dramamine uh, before we head out onto the, uh, the Seven Seas. Yikes. In the middle of the season, the team probably won't be wild about me disappearing to go riding on a boat. I'm not even wild about it. I don't even want to do it. Well, what do you say? Would you like to go and take a trip on the wild blue yonder with yours truly? Ooh. I do... Should I just be honest? I'm sorry, I'd really love to go out to sea, but I don't think it's for me. Have you been in the ocean, dude? If you if you capsize that boat, you're done for, man. The sharks are gonna get you. You're you're screwed, pretty much. Or do I use my charisma? Wow, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> I'm so thrilled you'd be willing to take me. Could we maybe take a rain check for the off season? If you're itching for something to do, I do have a poker home game that I'd love you to join. I'm not getting on that boat. Let's see how his morale goes. It's a 50 right now. Let's see how that changes. It's probably going to go down to a zero, and I'll be fired next week. All right, so I, I gave the answer. I do have a poker home game that I'd love for you to join. Uh, well, I was hoping to christen the voyage with my star GM. Oh, a star. Okay. But I do love me some poker. Is it Texas Hold'em? You know it, buddy. Oh, okay. Dealer's choice. Though Hold'em and the other horse games tend to be the most popular. I'm not a huge poker guy. I do know Texas Hold'em. Well, hot diggity. That sounds fantastic. I'll see you there. Jesus, who wrote these lines? That is not Eugene Pettit. All right, so there's that. Okay, so we can, we're can we in free roam mode now. Here is the boy, Gabe Horn. I don't even know what is his name. How do I change? Can I change my name? I have an attribute point. I'm going to put that on business. And I cannot do any perks right now. All right. The modern era. Here are some of the major changes happening in this era. FIBA tournament added in 2024. NBA Cup added in 2023. All-Star Game no longer goes to fixed score in 2023. Okay, so no more Elam ending. Good, it sucked. Got a little lounge area over here. I don't know why I'm running. I'm, I'm doing a swift jog inside this building. I would like to just walk. There we go, that's better. Okay, this is pretty, pretty cool. Zach Levine's over here. I'm gonna try to be nice. I'm not, I am a huge Chicago Bulls fan. I am not a very big Zach Levine fan. I think he took the Bulls for a lot of money. And he signed an offer sheet with somebody else, I think. The Bulls matched it for some reason. If he doesn't want to play for us, let him go. All right, oh, cool. We got a locker room in here. That's pretty sick. All right, let's talk to him. Just the man I wanted to see. Thanks for coming by. No problem, I always have time for our star player. Jesus, I didn't mean that at all. What's up? Well, after getting out of practice, I'm not going to lie. I can feel the miles have really begun to take a toll on my body. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Even stretching back to middle school, the grind has been real. Hey, you don't got to tell me, dude. I've been there. I've, I've been in the NBA. I totally hear you. Especially after making the jump to 82 games a year, plus all the extra work you put in the post... Can I just, I kind of flubbed that line because I was so shocked by the words that I saw. I totally hear you, especially after making the jump to 82 games a year, plus all the extra work you've put in, in the postseason? What's that? What's Zach Levine done in the postseason? Play hero ball? Get some Milwaukee Bucks to get a swept? Doesn't do a freaking thing in the play-in games? Is that, is that the postseason we're talking about? Okay. Yep, and that's why I wanted to talk to you a bit. Would it be possible to lower the practice intensity a bit? Zach Levine, already starting problems with me. What a surprise. First things first, Zach. Um, we pay you millions upon millions of dollars to do this one thing. Just play basketball. Okay, play basketball. That's what we pay you to do. And to be nice to the fans. Second of all, I'm not your coach. Why don't you ask him? Speaking of which... Coach Billy Donovan is going to be gone, too. Um, damn, this is tough. 
That's definitely a tough ask. Coach and I have chatted about practice intensity before, so I'm a little hesitant, but still willing to hear you out. You seem just fine in scrimmage. Plenty of energy, right? You know your body better than anyone, and I want you to know you have my trust and respect. I'll make sure to lower the training intensity. No, I'm, I'm not coddling this guy. That's all this organization has done for the last five years. No. That's definitely a tough ask, yeah. You seem just fine in scrimmage. Plenty of energy, right? Yeah, but that's because I'm doing my best to be a role model and make sure the Young Bucks have someone to look up to. But I'm going to be gassed come the end of the year. You are anyways. It doesn't matter. All right, well, that's over. I guess I'm done talking to Zach Levine. Uh, can I put him on the trade block? Oh, I got another attribute point. We need to go to... Uh, we're just going to keep building up this charisma. That's all I care about right now. Uh, Billy, you're can, dude. Sorry. Those plays are ass, by the way. Billy Donovan also is probably a nice guy. I've never met him, so I probably shouldn't be talking about him in that in that manner. Um, I am a Bulls fan, so talking like that is probably not very nice. Um, but it is what it is, man. I'm sick of my team losing. I mean, my team has been irrelevant since 1998. I mean, good God. That is a nice stadium, but it's not ours. That is not the United Center. God, this is fun. I, I'm so freaking... I'm juiced right now, man. I feel like I'm actually playing something new. It's nice. All right, so I'm assuming this is Noah Finley right here. Not the Noah Finley I remember, but we'll talk to you. Thanks for popping by, El Capitan. You got it. You mentioned something about priorities for this year? right -o. Obviously, the scouts spend most of their time looking for prospects, but we have a few floaters who are available, and so I had an idea. You know what? Let's just go get the best players. We're, we're going to rebuild this team the way I want it rebuilt, so we're going to be getting a lot of draft picks. Well, I'm thinking if we get a few extra bodies to help scout teams, it'll give us an edge in the playoffs. Okay. I mean, you do a great job filling the film room with a lot of tape. What good would the extra bodies do? I think they'd give us a small nudge towards defense and basketball IQ in the playoffs. And how exactly would the extra bodies help with this? They'd do the work of crunching numbers on the plays they like to run, habits and tendencies, how they run the pick and roll, should we hard switch, ice hedge, etc. I see. That sort of data could be pretty useful in a Jordan rules sort of way. How many people were you thinking you'd need? I think two people working on it for the full season could probably get it done. All right, let me just let me just ask Eugene for a check. All right, you know how highly I value defense. I think you and I can handle this ourselves. I don't think so. I'm a general manager. Why do you guys want me to do these menial tasks? Why do I need to run practice and all this jazz? I think it's worth it. Let's do it. That's just less stuff I got to worry about. Yes. The opposition won't know what hit him. All right. I hope it's as successful as the Jordan rules were. That would be great. Oh, my God. What is this? Is that? That must be Lake Michigan, I guess. That looks like a, is that a football stadium over there? What is happening? This is not the Chicago I know. Um, am I done talking to people? Is that it? for the day here's somebody i wonder who this guy is he looks like hr or uh like he handles team interviews or something i don't really know that guy um just going off of vibes i'm gonna get rid of billy donovan we're gonna go get michael stauffer there we go we got we got an actual head coach in here oh hey there boss just a moment quickly replying to the team social media manager about what i wasn't cc'd on any requests well that's surprising they had told me about how you'd spoken with them about how you were looking to increase engagement and go viral quote go viral uh i did not say that we needed to quote go viral but i guess it's good they're working hard what are they what are they taking to you oh okay they're asking for expenses to take the team several days next week and record them doing the whipped cream challenge. Oh, my. I don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. What on earth is that? 
Based on the reference material in the email, it seems like two people fill up a pie tin with some whipped cream, hold it in front of a friend, then they race to eat it. Whoever loses gets pie. Uh, okay. Nuh-uh, ain't happening. The team has several games of practice all next week. This is going to be nothing but a distraction. Do me a favor and CC me in and reply that we happened to chat about it and that I thought it would be a great idea for two of our deep bitch guys to do the challenge. I mean, that's a little silly to me, but I guess that's why they get paid to run our social media account. Approved. You know, that actually might pull some numbers and get some team buzz going. Give them double what they're asking in this business. We'll make it back five times in attendance revenue. Jesus. Um... Yeah, we're going to get two deep bitch guys to do the challenge. Sounds good. It looks like if it's just two, they could squeeze it in after practice, so it shouldn't take too much time away from the team. Perfect. I love it when a plan comes together. Good God almighty. This is, I mean, I'm having fun, so. All right, don't need to talk to Noah today, apparently. Eugene's probably going to rip me a new asshole because I fired the head coach without even talking to him about it. And look at that, we got a new head coach. See ya, Billy Donovan. Now all I gotta do is get rid of Zach Levine. He's still standing there. Interesting. All right, Eugene. Thanks for dropping by. I wanted to go over some budget details with you. Sure, what's on your mind? Well, the board has been discussing the team finances and we need to tighten our purses this year. Unfortunately, we're going to have to cut some of the payroll. Hey, morale's up to a 76 with Eugene. That's good. That's concerning. All the staff we have are essential, and there's no way to cut them without impacting the team. I empathize with you, but unfortunately, sacrifices must be made. You're going to have to clear up the payroll for three of the extra staffers you have on hand. Oh, no, I just hired new people. You brought me here to win. I can't do that if you hamstring me with cutting important personnel. Cutting three seems a little bit excessive. Surely there has to be some room for discussion. Ah, uh, I don't like either of these choices. I guess I'll go with charisma because I got a six charisma, whatever that means. Well, I'm not sure how much there is to discuss. The board has a pretty rigid view of expected profits for the next year, and unless I have a reason to push back, we're stuck. <laughs> When's the next board meeting? I'd win a 1v20. What if we asked them to try it and do it in phases? Maybe we only cut two now and then see how the finances are. I want to try and do a board meeting. I normally wouldn't allow it, but I have a feeling if you're in front of them, they'll have no choice but to give up. Keep your schedule open next Monday. Oh, God, I got to give a presentation in front of 20 people. I can barely, I can barely do a presentation in front of a mirror to myself. Thanks, boss. I appreciate you giving me a chance. Oh, this is going to get ugly in a hurry. I don't think... Uh, you might as well move all the shit out of my office now because this ain't going to work. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. Is there anybody in here? Oh, is this where I got to do my board meeting? Ah, oh, fuck. Let me do some practice. Now, you see uh, numbers, 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 business. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, we got another... Let's add to... Uh, let's add the business on this one. This is just... I mean, this is kind of fun. Oh, I got a new perk. Nice. Let's do... Other GMs are more likely to trade. That way we can get rid of Zach Levine. Collaborator. Eugene wants to talk. Let's see what he's got to say. And then I'll probably wrap up this episode... Because I don't want us to go too, too long. Hey, afternoon. I've been doing some thinking about where to go with this team. So have I. Zach Levine, that guy over there in that locker room, he gone. Oh, please enlighten me. Morale's up to 91 with the owner. As long as we stay good with the owner, I don't think he's going to fire me. Well, I think that we need to really push to reshape this team via the draft. Oh my god, Eugene. That is music to my ears, dude. A reasonable stance, if that's what you're looking for long term. I'm guessing you'd like me to get a lottery pick or two? Nope. I want us to have five first round picks? Oh my god, Eugene. I think I just fell in love with you. Five? That's uh, an awful lot. There are only 30 first round picks after all. 
I'm aware, but with the inherent risk in acquiring new prospects, I think getting a wide spread is more likely to develop stars or quality role players for the team. Couldn't agree more. Hey, I love the idea, but I'm worried it'll hurt the team's ability to win now. We have a real shot at a title this year. No, we don't. Five picks is a lot. I don't really think I can do it. Sorry, boss. All right. I guess five picks for this year isn't too bad. I can make it happen. Oh, it's not just a short-term thing. I was thinking that we'd also have five first-rounders next year, too. <laughs> okay, bro, slow your roll. What? We'd be giving up way too much to afford that many picks. I don't think we can do it. Wow, you really like pushing me to my limits, huh? Sure, I guess it's time for some Presty magic. Okay. Let the picks roll in. Perfect. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you, sir. I think everyone will be thrilled come the summer. All right, let's do it, man. I'm I'm ready. Let's go ahead and get on it. I'm Zach. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna trade Zach Levine while I'm in the same room with the guy. We're sending you off to China, bud. You gone. You gone. All right, we're gonna do it. Illegal trade. The Nets are over the salary cap. What? Yeah, we're gonna add the exception. I don't care. This trade includes players that are involved in the mentorship program. Do you want to make this trade? I don't give a shit. Is he still standing here? No, he's not. I got Josh Giddy in front of me. Oh, no. All right, we got to make another trade. Lonzo Ball's contract is absolutely ridiculous for a guy that doesn't even play. So, Lonzo Ball, you're gone. I want Colin Sexton, man. We'll just trade this first round pick for, uh, for something else. Yep, we want to make that trade. Who else can we trade? Who else can we get rid of? Vucevic and his $20 million contract? Yeah, let's do that. Get you the hell out of here. We'll go ahead, make this trade happen. I don't care if he's in the mentorship program, dude. I, I don't care. All right, and with that, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I mean, this is the most fun I've had playing my GM in a long time. So that's going to do it for me in this episode. I'll have another one out here shortly. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm, I, I don't know what to say, man. It's crazy. I'm playing my GM mode and actually having a little bit of fun with it. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucker!